All right, we're gonna have a conversation today about Affinity. Uh, kind of a big update. Big as in two more wine versions have been technically three more wine versions have been added, uh, for stability and stuff and whatnot. And well, I think this is as far as we're gonna able to go, because anything beyond 10.11 is not possible due to the major changes that happened in wine. Like using wine.17 is it can be done, but it's really buggy and has a lot of problems and a lot of issues with AMD GPUs and it's just not worth touching. And uh, wine still needs to be patched, no matter what they try to tell you, into working properly. And that's what these wine versions are for. They are properly patched to handle everything that needs to be handled. Okay? That's, that's the cool part. Now, I've added a couple new buttons. One is the Enable OpenCL button. It's not 100%. It doesn't always work, but whatever. Uh, switch Wine version is another thing. So if you pop this up and you want to hit yes, you'll be met with this little screen here that tells you about your Wine versions. This is for V3 CPUs, newer CPUs. This is for older CPUs. Uh, this is the legacy version. This is one of the new versions, and so is this. These are for V3 CPUs. They won't work on V2 because I had to compile them on my system locally. I would need an older CPU to compile them on to be able to get them to work for everybody, and I don't have that. So uh, if we need it to, we could switch to this, and I can end up building an app image out of this. Okay, so it will switch. It will do its thing. It will update everything that needs to be updated. And we should be good to go. I should be able to go into my uh, home folder and go here. And there it is. Okay. It just goes into there. I don't know why this is still here. I don't think I've gotten rid of it yet. <clears throat> which is a big part of the problem. I do want to see if it locally updated uh, my, my affinity thing here. I went to wine. Okay. So, I mean, so if I just do this, it should just work, right? That's how that happens? Yeah, it just works. See? There we go. All right. So, let's get into this other thing. Okay? And this is kind of important. So, we're going to, like, get rid of all this crap. We're going to push it over here. Um, it's important because we have GPU acceleration. Okay, great. It didn't crash. We have GPU acceleration. And I want to show you real quick about that. Okay, so I want you to watch this little green bar. This this tells you how much you're using. And if you notice here, uh, Affinity is being both graphic and compute. So if we do this, you'll notice that we're using Liquify and we're moving and the GPU is being utilized which is really, really good. This is what we want. We're up to 310% on the, on the on everything, uh, which is really, really nice because CPU is slow as hell when doing this. Like I'm really freaking zoomed in. So if I hit cancel and I zoom out, I want to show you how smooth this is. Right about there should be good. We go to liquefy. Yeah, so it still has its performance problems. I again, uh, newer CPU version wine will end up doing better, but and yeah, there you go. And you'll notice there's minor issues where a black square will appear. Uh, that's unfortunately normal. There's not much I could do about that, but it is using your graphics card, which is what matters. So it is computing. And it may not always be what you want it to be, but there you go. Now, another thing that I ended up doing is I made an app image and I want to show you how this app image works because I know there's people out there that are extremely paranoid about app images for some reason. I don't know if it's like some sort of weird uh, illness that they got going on or if they've just been brainwashed by somebody. But if we do this, it's going to end up showing you what it's doing. So it's R syncing everything into the wine prefix. So that's this guy right here. And once it's done, you'll see what happens. Yeah, so it basically failed, but it succeeded at the same time, which makes no sense. And 
After that, a DPI screen should pop up with the slider. I went through a lot to make this work for you. I think I still need to integrate one other thing, which is a fix for settings, but look at that. There you go. I'm going to hit OK. <clears throat> and then it's just going to start up Affinity Wine. Done. You'll find this in the release section on my GitHub. There you go. Did you know that you can't learn coding without someone thinking your work is AI? Yeah. Did you also know you're not allowed to work with invisible contributors? It's illegal. I swear to God, the world is just toxic to be toxic to get attention. It's sad. All right. Uh, let's just keep going because, you know, screw those type of people. They, uh, they are not worth the effort if you will. So I'm going to grab out this same image. And again, I want to show you the liquify. And there you go. So this should look like this on AMD as well. That's what this wine is patched for. Okay. And uh, yeah. So next I want to set my GPU. Because I also did that. I also redid the entirety of the UI, by the way. I want it to look a little bit better. I want to switch to VKD3D. All right, it's going to do a thing. We've downloaded it, it's going to initiate it, it's going to put it in. I want to go to Wine Configuration. Okay, I want to go to Libraries. I still have to make sure that everything's good. Nothing's been doubled, which it's been. Good, good, good. <clears throat> and I also want to switch the wine version to 10.11 just like this so it's going to download everything it's going to extract everything and uh, it's going to put everything in the affinity folder then it's going to change the dot desktop so you can have all of these and it will all run through here okay it will always uh, go and change this. So if I if I went to, let's say, this file here, and I went to Properties. And you'll notice there's, there's, no, there's no folder that's actually called Wine Warrior. That's the thing. But if I go like this, go to Wine Configuration, and I go to About, it's Wine 10.11. That's the nifty part. And this will only work off the wine version that you say for it to work off of. Okay? So now, if I open this up, reload. There we go. We're back. Great. I can just pop this in here. Do that. Okay. Burger, once again, gonna liquefy. Look at that. There's the liquify. Go to settings. We got our open CL back. Okay. There we go. It's it. It's as simple as that. And look, our compute on uh, the affinity is working pretty well, I would say. Graphics. So that's the thing. Now, the other change that I made. We're going to close this out, kill this. And we're going to open this up for a very good reason. Uh, if you notice, Wine TKG is now here. That handles Wine Tricks because this has patches to prevent it from freezing for Wine Tricks. So now your .NET 48 and .NET 35.1 SP1 or whatever it's called, sh it, it, you should no longer have those issues where it ends up freezing. So what have we done? App image has been created. Yay. We've added three brand new wines. Okay. One for older CPU generations. You could also use the legacy if you want it. And sometimes that still happens. And then we got like everything else. I like to thank Happy for this. Okay. I don't know if they want me to use the real name or not, but I'm not going to. Thank you very much for all the work that you've done in the patches. I'm going to mention you because this is very, very important. You do not understand how much I appreciate you. You have pushed this project forward. And because of this, I'm able to research those patches that you did. And hopefully soon, I'm able to continue that work. I'm currently in the process of learning. 
Now, with that, if you appreciate everything that's so far been done, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe, okay? Because these are huge changes and they matter. And if you want to help support the continuation of this, uh, you can end up donating. And there's, it's all in the description below, all right? Helps me with bills and things like that. And I put a lot of work into this UI to make everything one click for you and add troubleshooting options and so much more. Collaborating with people, trying to figure out, learning new things. <clears throat> My skill in coding is improving every day, which matters a lot. And uh, I got to get back to making the app image for this now because that's kind of important. But, but to leave it at this, every bit of support helps. Okay, whether it's YouTube membership or donating. I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully with something that's not affinity related. Uh, I actually need to go and make the thumbnail for this. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And I want you guys to do me a very, very big favor. I want you to have a good weekend. That's all I'll ever ask of you is to have a good weekend. I mean, if you do that, you're already extremely successful in life. Bye, everybody.